Back! We are back to Football 101! That's right, you are back to Football 101. I am your host, The Beatle. The Beatle, that's right. <laughs> yes, former football player, high school, college. <laughs> back in the day, during the 70s. <laughs> that's enough. You know about the, you know about me, the host. <laughs> I could go down a long road on that, but you know enough about me. This is the AFC North, and I'm the next team. <laughs> I don't know how long I'm... It's, this is going to be short and sweet. This got to be short and sweet. Because I could go down a deep, deep... <laughs> a deep cave <laughs> on this team. It's the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> Another Ohio team. <laughs> and it gets worse. <laughs> I'm just going to say, yes, I know my homies in Ohio. My homies, my dedicated, loyal Cleveland Browns fans... The dog pound and all of that. The tradition. This will be. <laughs> I'm just laying it out. This will be. The worst season. <laughs> Maybe of all time. <laughs> no, no, it's not going to be of all time. It's going to be a bad, bad, long season. And the reason. I'm getting straight to the reason why. Uh, I'm not pulling any punches. I've watched the Browns during training camp. I watched them during preseason. And now after the first game, after their first Oh my gosh. After their first game against the Dallas Cowboys. Of which was of which was the premier game commentating for my boy Tom Brady. On Fox, <laughs> but the Browns looked incredibly bad against the. Oh uh, well, uh, I'd say above average, kind of not average, a little bit above average. Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys always look great during the beginning of the season. Let, let's just be that. Uh, tell it like it is. But the Browns head coach Kevin Stefanski, and I'm going to call him out right now. It's all because of one player. I said it from day one, and I'm sticking to what I said about this player from day one. It's not going to change. It's because of their quarterback, Deshaun Watson. It's that simple. The Browns traded for Deshaun Watson a, few, a couple of years ago. I, don't, I can't even remember now how many years. Just been a couple. And I'm going to hold the ownership, the ownership of the Cleveland Browns, because I'm from Ohio. <laughs> we can call people out. The new ownership, Jimmy and D. Haslam, Haslam, Haslam. I don't know their last Haslam. The new ownership, and particularly, unfortunately, no, I'm not going to say unfortunately. The general manager, Andrew Barry, for making the deal for Deshaun Watson, trading all those picks, paying Deshaun Watson after he stayed out of football for an entire year from the Houston Texans. Why? You know the reason. Because of those allegations. And to me, he has never apologized about those number of allegations. They let him go. They let him go. With all the allegations. And I'm not going to get an allegation, but all those allegations. And the Browns spent that money to bring him on board. And I said, right then and there, that is the wrong deal. And let me just say, this brother hasn't apologized whatsoever. And just looking at his play after the first game against the Cowboys, he was off timing. His timing was off. His throws were off. Yes, he has an arm. But he, you can just tell he's like a robot out there. I don't know if he relates to any other players out there. 
And let me just say, during that game, I, I, I saw the wide receiver during that game disgusted. Simply disgusted. And it's pathetic to see how the Browns are playing now. And how Deshaun Watson is, has done this team incredibly bad. Now the Browns have Jerry Judy. They picked up Jerry Judy. Great pickup in the offseason. But I feel for Amari Cooper. That's what I was trying to get. I want to make sure. Amari Cooper, who who used to play with the Dallas Cowboys. Amari Cooper. In his tenth season, felt embarrassed being out there. And this all centers around, and even though they have so-called superstar Miles Garrett that talks more more stuff than anything. I'm going to lead the league in sacks. I'm going to, well, he didn't do anything against the Cowboys. I'm tired of all the wolf talking in Cleveland. But it all comes down to Deshaun Watson. He is, he was, who was not the answer and will, to me, he will not be the answer. They let go. Guess who's having a great, <laughs> yeah, Baker Mayfield. Yeah, they dumped Baker Mayfield. Yeah, Baker Mayfield was a big hit, but he got things done. He he was he was a team player. Deshaun Watson don't care at all. Just look at him, his mechanics, his emotions. He's like a robot. Like I said earlier, he's a robot. He don't care. So the Browns are pathetic. On the lake. Pathetic. And by the way, I was in Cleveland a few years ago. Nice stadium. I love the stadium right there. It's a shame. I love right down in that area with all the amenities, uh, with all the, uh, heart, uh, the, uh, the hard rock museum, and all the amenities right in that area. It's ideal. And I feel for the Cleveland Browns fans because, and, and then when, it, when the weather changes, you're, you, you're a dedicated fan. In that cold weather, off the lake, <laughs> off the lake Erie, <laughs> the, you have to be dedicated. <laughs> it's gonna be no one in that in that stadium when the wind hit, hits off that <laughs> off that lake in November, December. Ain't nobody gonna be in that stadium because that stadium is basically right next to the lake, almost on the lake. <laughs> Looks good. Cross the railroad tracks, you go on railroad tracks, and then you're right there. <laughs> but let me just say the problem is the disease of Deshaun Watson. I, I just don't care for, uh, again, the Beatle, let me just say, and here's my bias I, I don't care for the brother. I, I would not, I would, I could not, as a player, as a former player, oh, now I'm getting, I'm getting there. As a former, I couldn't play ball with him <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't be running routes for it yeah it's a business but you want to connect with your fellow teammate you want to say yo bro uh, uh, are you innocent or are you guilty what what <laughs> tell me something so I can relate he, he, I don't know if he ever had those conversations obviously with his fellow teammates but what I see in his eyes during training camp preseason not just this year but the year before the year before Man, I couldn't play for the brother. I couldn't play. I couldn't. I'm sorry. I, I, I need to, <laughs> You know, it's a team. And you want to bond. And I, I just can't see it. So, this disaster falls straight on not just Deshaun Watson, but Andrew Barry, GM, who who had a press conference and said, I, I believe in Deshaun Watson. Yeah, Andrew you take the hit on this. Big time. Big time. I'm disgusted. Along with the owners. Disgusted. So that's all I have to say about the Cleveland Browns. Their season. 
And I always dog out the Browns anyway. Because <laughs> I'm not from that part of the Ohio. <laughs> you got to realize, I'm from the southern part of Ohio. <laughs> the people from the southern part of Ohio, uh, we don't care about Cleveland. <laughs> I'm just saying. I love the Cleveland Browns back in the day in the 60s with Jim Brown and Paul Warfield and my boys. <laughs> and even when they had uh, uh, Gregory Pruitt, ooh, dang. Brian Sype, ooh. Oh, man. But not now. Because <laughs> they're a sham. <laughs> so here's a season. First, first game, lost Dallas. Next, they go to Jacksonville, lost. Then they host the Giants win. Then they go to Vegas, lost. Then they go to Washington, lost. Then they go to Philly, lost. Then they host Cincy. That will be a win. Then they uh, host Baltimore, lost. Then they... Uh, Host Chargers lost. Then they have a bye. Then they go to New Orleans. New Orleans lost. Then they host Pittsburgh. Uh, I, for some reason, for some reason, I have a win. But I'll give it because it's at home. Da, da, da. For some reason, I have a win. I don't know why, but for some reason, I have a win on that. Then they go to Denver. Lost. Then they go to Pittsburgh. There you go. Lost. Then they go host Kansas City. Lost. Then they host uh, go to Bengals. I say a loss. Then they host Miami, no, 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 they, they not hardly gonna deal with my Miami Dolphins, my Miami Dolphins, that's a loss. And then they finish up on the road with Baltimore. <laughs> so I have the Cleveland Browns at three wins, 14 losses. In the bottom of the barrel. Sick and tired of the Cleveland Browns and the organization. Take that, Cleveland. I'm out. <laughs> I, I, no apology. I'm out. There you go. That's my ball. <laughs> and I can say it because I'm from Ohio. <laughs> I can say it because I'm from Ohio. Take that. See y'all. Peace out.